Hello and welcome to the RackForms feature demonstration video. I'm Macrodynic, developer of RackForms, and uh, thank you for taking the time uh, to check us out. So in this video, I want to cover two main points. Uh, the first being how easy it is to create forms with RackForms, uh, but also just how powerful it is as well. So let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a contact form. I'm going to add two pages to my jobs. Of course, I should say that RackForms is a native multi-page application. That means we can add as many pages to a job as we want, and we can, of course, navigate through those pages using custom logic. In this case, though, it's just going to be a simple two-page form. The overall workflow, as you probably just saw, is I add elements here, we modify those elements here uh, in terms of position, and then we actually add uh, uh, our custom attributes for those guys right here in the edit form attributes. Sounds a little bit confusing, but all that means is if I want to change what my text is right here, I'll select the item and I'll just change its text and its label. So in this case, I'll say contact form. I'm then going to add a couple more fields to my form, and I'm going to change those properties as well. So I'll ask for name, email, and contact message. To my confirmation page, I'm going to add what's called a simple SQL module. Again, this is all covered in documentation, but as the brief introduction, uh, when we create a form in Rack Forms, um, we collect information from our form pages, and our confirmation pages say, well, this is where I want that information to go. Of course, we have lots of different ways that we can send our information out, custom SQL calls, web services, etc., email. In this case, the simple SQL module simply says, Rack Forms, you handle everything for me, and send it to the internal entry viewer. Now we're going to take a look at the entry view in just a second, but first let's talk real quickly about some of the ways that we can style our forms. So in this case, all I have to do to preview my form is just click this little green button. Rack Forms brings up the form and this is exactly what it's going to look like when we embed it into a page or we give a link to this particular form. And as you can see, it's pretty simple here. However, we can change our styling, for example, to freeform. And as the name suggests now, now instead of being in a list, I can actually drag my elements around the page like so. Of course, if we switch between them, uh, that is sortable and freeform, RackForms is going to remember where we put things. So it makes it really easy to experiment to get exactly the look that we want without fear of losing anything that we've done already. We also have a third layout method, which is called table mode. So if I scroll down a little bit here in my options, if I enable table mode layout right here, you can see now that I get this nice two column grid. And of course, I can adjust my widths of my columns, alignment, and so on. So that's position. We also have the ability to customize the look of our forms. And we got some great shortcuts with this as well. So what I mean by that is, in this particular case, we have a white and white form. That is, there's no background colors. And if we had a website that we wanted to embed this on, it's going to fit in uh, with a, a, a web form that's white really easily. However, that doesn't mean that we can't create full page web forms. And this is particularly relevant when it comes to surveys. So to do so, all I have to do is click a few buttons. Center form, apply a box shadow, give it a border radius, maybe a little bit of page margin. And now just with those four options, you'd see that I have something that looks like this. Of course, that's, the most, uh, that's not the most exciting looking thing. So actually, I go ahead here and let's toggle on a little uh, color chooser here and we'll apply a nice background and foreground color to this. Now we get something that looks like this. However, we can make it look even nicer still by using these beautiful Google web fonts here. So by doing that, we get something that looks like this. Of course, we can style individual field elements as well. So in this case, let me go ahead and make contact form a little bit bigger here. And let me change its color to something darker than the rest of the form. Let's see what that looks like. That's pretty good. Finally, we can adjust our field widths, of course, for our um, items here, and we've got some great shortcuts for that. So by that I mean I can go ahead and I can stretch this guy out right here, and then I can apply that to all similar items. So both my fields instantly snap over, and of course if I want to add more height, I can do that, and then once again apply that to all items. What's nice about this is uh, RackForms is really smart about this. So what I mean by that is, when we say apply to all items, um, it could be that we don't want all um, our, our text areas to get that same width. We just want the form fields. So it's never going to force anything on us. It's going to say, look, I'm going to let you be the ultimate judge of the way you want your form to look like. In any case, we get something that looks like this. Finally, we have the ability then to quickly copy and paste these styles to other pages and elements. So in this particular case, when I select my form uh, page right here, 
I just have this option that says apply these settings to all pages. When I click that, you'll notice this guy right down here is going to get the exact same style. Finally, if I like the way this guy looks, I can copy individual field styles too. So I'll say grab this field style and apply it to that particular piece of text. So pretty simple. Finally, I should mention that for the developers among us, uh, we have uh, even better ways of getting more granular with our styles. So if I scroll down to an area called Page JavaScript CSS Head Code, I actually have a uh, little block of text which I can uh, copy in here called CSS Styles for Input Fields. When I do that, it simply gives us a block of CSS here, which we can see in the nice uh, code editor here, which when we run this form, means that now we have some nice background highlight colors, as well as getting rid of our borders. So very, very simple to use these uh, um, tools at our disposal, once again, to get the exact look that we want. Okay, so now that we got the form looking the way we want, let's go ahead and see how the submission process works. So what I'll do is, once again, I'll click my submission button here, after filling out my fields. And then we'll take a look at this result in what's called the Entry Viewer. So I'll click this guy, and from the Save a Low Job menu here, I'm going to go ahead and select Contact Form, and here's the message that we just submitted. Of course, from here, we can now print this uh, uh, result out. We can toggle in Edit Mode and actually change the text in real time. We can delete jobs, we can sort by uh, when it was submitted, and we can also, of course, export the results as tab or XML for other programs. Let me jump back in the editor here real quickly uh, show you something that's also really nice. So, not only does Rack Forms uh, do forms, it also does surveys. And it does surveys in two distinct ways. The first way is we just create a form, and as you can see here, ask a couple silly questions, and then look at that form through the survey viewer. So here I'm going to load that job up and here you can see that we've broken it down by pages, questions, and responses. However, we also have the ability to create dedicated surveys using what's called the survey module. And so the survey module is simply an item that unlike creating individual form fields, all we have to do is supply a list of questions and answers. So you can see here's my survey responses and here's my questions and then RackForms has automatically gone in and created this beautiful grid for us that looks like this. Of course, these are submitted the exact same way, such that when we do submit this form, we can still use the Entry Viewer or the Survey Viewer to actually look at both of those uh, uh, results. What's really important about this is somewhat subtle, but it's just the idea that with RackForms, as you've seen, we have lots of power to edit the styles and the look of our forms, but we also have this, it's almost like an ethos of freedom. And by that I mean, in Rack Forms, we don't like to draw a distinction between forms and surveys. We don't think that you should have to do that. If you built a form and you want to look at it as a survey, you should be able to do that. And of course, vice versa. And this mentality of um, giving lots of features and freedom, but also kind of an open way of looking at things, is just just soaking throughout Rack Forms. It is everywhere. It is, it is the core tenant of why Rack Forms exist. It's to give you power, but also give you the options um, to do things exactly the way that you want. So at any rate, that is our quick introduction to Rack Forms. We have barely scratched the surface. Uh, there's lots of things we didn't take a look at. Our mobile functionality, like our signatures and our mobile sliders, and lots of really good stuff like that. We're actually going to cover some of that stuff in the other videos in this series on the homepage here uh, at RackForms.com. And so we hope we, uh, you check those out and, and see some of the other great features. But um, hopefully this video, though, has once again given you a good indication of A, just how easy Rack Forms is to use, but also how powerful it is. So once again, thank you for your time, and I hope to see you in some of our other videos.